If not, do we have any of the Democratic members who wish to offer an amendment? Madam Chair. Uh, who said Madam Chair? Senator Braun. Okay, I have two more I'm going to call up to ask for a vote, and I'm going to do it quickly. Um, amendment number seven uh, is about trying to make sure where our drugs are made, and especially focusing on what might be made in China. It's no secret that my congressional colleagues, as well as President Biden, uh, plan to bolster American manufacturing and fix our supply chains. This amendment brings us one step closer to ensuring federal dollars are directed towards supporting American manufacturing and provides supply chain transparency. It's based on Senator Cotton's bill, Anything But China Safe Drug Act. It requires the FDA to create a registry to track all drugs and the active pharmaceutical ingredients used to develop those drugs that are produced outside of the U.S. Most importantly, this amendment requires federal health programs to prioritize contracting with drug manufacturers that develop drugs with the majority of APIs sourced from outside of China, curbing our reliance on them. I ask my members to support it. Thank you, Senator Braun. Um, I just want to say on this amendment, I'm really concerned about the jurisdictional implications of telling the Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense which drugs they can and cannot purchase to fulfill their needs. And I'm also concerned about the unintended consequence of limiting the federal government's ability to purchase certain foreign source drugs for which domestically produced substitutes may not be available. Uh, and this may ultimately lead to drug shortages in the U.S., so I will be voting no on this amendment. Are there any other comments on, on Madam Chairman? this amendment? Uh, Madam Senator Chairman, I, I'm reluctantly asking colleagues to vote no on this. I, I share Senator Braun, Senator Cotton's concern about how much Chinese API uh, is relied on for domestic production. I think we ought to do everything we can to move to sourcing outside of China. While I share that concern, I also remind myself this is the HELP Committee. And uh, I would say that our number one mission is to do no harm. And if, in fact, there is API that only comes from China that is a component of a drug, um, then we've done harm. And if, in fact, it takes longer than the four years to stand up sourcing outside of China, we've done harm. Uh, I think if we could all wave a magic wand right now, we'd say every manufacturer should source here, should manufacture here. It would eliminate a lot of cost with warm manufacturing that we're talking about. That's not the case. And I would urge my colleagues that uh, I think the industry itself is trying to move their emphasis out of China, move it to where it has a reliable supply chain in place. But I honestly believe that there will be products that they can't substitute from another place. Given enough time, they will work in partnerships with other countries and entities around the world to create a supply chain that's not relying on the volatility that we've got out of China and certainly we've experienced in the pandemic. So uh, I would ask my colleagues to, support, to vote no on this amendment. Senator Paul. I have a question for Senator Braun. Um, what if every drug in a category has 62% of the active ingredients coming from China? Is there an exception? Like we say, oh gosh, every drug for rheumatoid arthritis is now coming, has 62%, and there won't be any drugs for our veterans. Is there an exception? And then is there any kind of anything in the rule for, I think what Senator Murray referred to is it may be going to other countries, you know, China just sells it to Vietnam and then we just buy it from Vietnam. Is there anything about third party countries? So it's saying that in essence, we uh, try to find places other than China. It doesn't rule it out completely. And it would have that same forewarning about any other country that we'd have to question whether it's a, a reliable long-term supply chain. So the intent so it's a, of it, it's a suggestion then, not a mandate. It's a yes. suggestion to DOD to try to buy. It doesn't say you can't buy. No, it says anything but in the sense that you try to find it elsewhere when you're dealing with supply chains that have proven unreliable. 
Senator Collins. First, let me say that this is an issue that has concerned me for some time, and I've been working on it for the past few years. It is more complicated than it first appears, and as I read uh, Senator Braun's amendment, it would re require um, HHS, Veterans Affairs, and the Department of Defense um, to reach these thresholds. I am concerned because I remember we had a hearing with the FDA in which they said that 72% of the facilities that provide active pharmaceutical ingredients for our domestic markets are located overseas, primarily India and China. India as much as China. And when COVID hit, one of the first things that India did was to restrict the import to our country, or the export rather, to our country of promised APIs uh, that we were contracted to receive. So I think we are far too dependent on other countries for um, essential ingredients in our, our medicine. Uh, but I share the point that the concern that Senator Paul raised about uh, it's going to take a long time to undo this. And I also think the Senator's amendment is too broad. Um, the bill that I'm working on would create a pilot project that would apply to the VA. And if you want to participate in the VA program and provide medicines to it, then a certain percentage of your manufacturing would have to be in North America. And, but I think that this goes way beyond that. It's so broad, it would capture Medicare and Medicaid and I am fearful that it would produce drug shortages in the time that is allowed. And final comment, it does um, account for a threshold over time that you get there. Um, at some point in time, you'll have to make the decision uh, how dependent you want to be on places that have proven uh, not handshake business partners. So um, understand what you're saying. Can I go on to my final? Um, are, are there any other comments on this amendment? 